I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys! Welcome, it's Manny the Man Lopez, and I've got a brand new PLS Tips with Manny. Each week I give you guys new tips and strategies on marketing yourself and branding yourself online and offline, and just really positioning yourself as an expert in your industry. Today, no different. Today I'm going to show you guys how to retain your prospects. Tips on retention, all right? Uh, a lot of the people I've come across in, in business, especially network marketing or affiliate programs, one of the biggest issues that they have is the ability to retain their team members, to keep them focused, keep them excited, keep them going, keep them consistent. You know, they, they get that first hurdle and all of a sudden, you know, business is done, business is over. I have to throw, throw in the towel, nothing can do, right? I mean, we've all seen it before. But how do you get your team or your prospects to retain either your value or retain membership or retain, you know, product? You know, how do you get people to retain? So some of the things that I do is really, uh, it's always going to be focused on value, okay? When you're lost somebody, that means you have to look at it from this point. Let's see here. I don't think I have something I can compare it to. But let's say, keep my hands, blah, 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 all right? When you try to get somebody to retain and they've lost, okay? Let's say this is your value and this is what they're paying, okay? When you've lost them, the value went from here to here, okay? This is the cost of it and this is what they think of the value, okay? And the problem is it's not necessarily they've lost value in the product because they've lost value in the product. It's more because they've lost the understanding of that value, okay? You have to keep re reiterating that value again and again to make sure that they see it, that they know that there's something there, that there's something they should be utilizing. There's so many times that I've talked to somebody that I have on the power lead system. They're still paying monthly and I give them a call or I touch base with them because we have something else that we're working on as well. And you know, I, I give them, hey, how's your power lead system going? Because I can see in the back office whether they're selling it or not. And so I'd ask them, hey, how's your power lead? Oh man, it's you know, I've been so busy, just haven't had a chance to look at it. Da, 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 da you know, whatever it may be, but it's always that reiteration of value. Oh man, we just launched this new thing. Hey, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but we have the share code feature thing. I don't know if you knew this, but this floating lead capture program that we've got going, you know, so you always have always a way to just reiterate the value so they understand exactly what it is that they, reason why they started in the first place, okay? When you get somebody excited, it's because you had the ability to fill a need fill a void in that in that person's life. When they saw your opportunity and they joined your opportunity, they joined your team, is because they saw that you were somebody that could facilitate a need, a fill a void of, of, of value that was missing in their life. So you have to make sure that you get them back to that day. Get them back to the reason why they joined you in the first place. Get them the reason why they were focused and they were excited. Maybe they had you know, some project or some goal in mind that they were trying to hit. Maybe it was a lifestyle choice that they were looking to get to. You know, get them to that position of feeling again. If you're a male, not if you're a male, if you're talking to a male, okay, keep in mind men are visual creatures, okay? We need to see it. We need to visualize the action, visualize the goal being accomplished, visualize the, the sip and Mai Tais on the beach somewhere because you've automated your systems and now you're just going and, uh, and everyone, you're leveraging others' efforts. You know, you got to get them back to that, that point. For females, it's got to be on emotion, okay? You got to sell a woman, not a sell, but get them to see the value based on emotion, okay? Get them to feel the value that they're going to get. Get them to feel the excitement that they're going to have when either utilizing this product or joining your team or, you know, staying focused on the, on what the task at hand, you know, men, visual, women, feeling, emotion. Okay. So make sure you taking that into effect when trying to get them back on board or keep them retained or trying to put out any fires that you may be having. Okay. Another thing on retention that I've seen that have success is keeping your team educated. Okay. If you're constantly being, you know, uh, another thing as well is consistency. Okay. So value, consistency, and education. Okay. These three things are key for retention. Okay. If you want to make sure that your team is being effective on doing what you need them to do, you need to have those three things. Um, for retention on, uh, on value, you need to make sure you keep 
making sure they know why they're joining, why the value in that product or service that they're doing or the team building or the commission structure, whatever it is that got them inside. Um, then you got to keep educating them, keep them knowledgeable on what it is your system is doing, what it is that the training that's going out there. If you're building your team on power lead system, keep them in indebted with the training in uh, in the Wednesday training, the Tuesday training, uh, the hangouts, the the Facebook group. Get them into places where they're gonna have uh, resources of knowledge. When people see that there's a resource of knowledge somewhere, it's gonna gravitate towards them because it's gonna give them the ability of knowing of knowing that there's a step by step process to success and that there's somebody always there to support them and to make sure they can answer a question that's key to keeping retention and then another thing that you want to do is uh, is consistency consistently be able to touch them consistently communicate with them get them on an email campaign get them into um, a text blast campaign get them in a Facebook group just consistently making sure there's new content new education new resources to make sure that there's value that is how you retain your team okay so those are some tips on retention uh, for either the power lead system or your primary business, whatever it is that you're promoting. Um, but that is what I have seen that's had the most success in making sure my team stays on board is I always continually, continuously provide value, way more value than what they're paying. So this way they always see that there's something, there's always a need to have it. Like for example, I've got a service that uh, in my business model that I have a monthly fee for and I include all kinds of different gamut of services in this monthly fee. Now, if everyone was to use that, it would just be too much. But I know only a certain amount of my customer base will use all of these services. So I give my client base all of these services for a small monthly fee where they say, wow, I get all of this for just that much per month? Are you kidding me? Well, of course. Yeah. So they see that and there's value in that because of the resources there. But if I get enough, enough people on that monthly, it pays for itself. It, it definitely has value in that. So for me to keep my clients retained, I just provide so much value in that monthly fee that there's no reason to, to, to discontinue it. It wouldn't make no sense. So that's one way to keep it. You know, So that's kind of my, my concept is just making sure you have unique value continuous value, consistent value, and making sure you're educating your team. You do that and your team will be retained higher than you could ever imagine. So that's the tips for this week. I know we kept it short, but I've got to get this uh, done, converted, edited, and everything within the next 25 minutes. So uh, I will get to work. I will see you guys very soon. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat box. Uh, also, uh, on the Facebook group, tag me if you need any questions. I don't always receive every post that's in there. Um, I'm always getting tagged, but make sure you see that tag. If you need uh, help on tagging, okay? When you're writing out a post on Facebook, um, the shift uh, two, that's going to make that A with the circle, and then start typing out someone's name. That'll help you tag them uh, directly in there. So you might be able to do that unless we're not connected at all. Uh, but if you need to, just get in touch with me, connect with me, uh, ask me any questions that you need. I'm here to help you guys out as much as I can, as much as my time allows. And um, just let me be a resource for you. So uh, you guys have a great week. I will see you guys very soon. Uh, always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great one. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the town.